Hi, my name is Sinisha Stepovic. My colleagues Shreyas Hampali and I are going to introduce you to our work, Monte Carlo Scene Search for 3D Scene Understanding. This is a joint work with Shayan Sharkar and Chetan Kumar, supervised by Frederick Fraundorfer and Vincent Le Petit. Our method accurately retrieves complex scene layouts and object models and poses even under challenging conditions, for example, under severe occlusion or when many objects are close together. It overperforms supervised learning methods and generalizes to other datasets. We call our method Monte Carlo Scene Search, or shortly MCSS. Supervised learning approaches for 3D scene understanding inherit the bias of manual 3D annotation, which is difficult to obtain and doesn't scale well. Also, supervised learning approaches often generalize poorly to new datasets. In contrast, MCSS often retrieves more objects in the scenes of ScanNet than the existing manual annotation. Similarly, MCSS retrieves room layouts for the scenes in ScanNet that are much more detailed than the existing manual annotations. In the first step of our approach, we detect candidate proposals for a given RGBD scan. More exactly, we generate a large number of possible object poses and their corresponding models. We also generate a large number of planar polygons that might correspond to the walls in the scene. The number of proposals easily reaches hundreds or even thousands, so in the second step, we select a subset of proposals which best fits the scene. Due to the large state complexity, it is infeasible to iterate through all possible subsets of proposals to find the correct solution. Previous approaches include hill climbing, which can easily get stuck into a local minima as we demonstrate in the figure. Classic tree search algorithms do not scale well to large trees, and graph-based approaches limit the choice of the objective function. We propose to adapt Monte Carlo Tree Search, or MCTS, to perform 3D scene understanding and select the objects and the walls proposals. Originally, MCTS was designed to learn to play games with large state complexities, but it is a general tree search algorithm. Because of its stochastic nature, MCTS scales well with the complexity of the problem and can optimize non-differentiable functions. We obtain object proposals by first detecting the objects in the RGBD scan, followed by proposing CAD models for each detected object. The scene tree for the objects is created by having a set of mutually incompatible objects at the same level of the tree. Following a path in our scene tree results in a set of proposals that are all compatible with each other. We then render this subset of proposals to multiple views and compare with predicted segmentations and depth maps. As the objective function is evaluated only at the leaf nodes, MCTS avoids getting stuck in local minima. We evaluate the selected proposals using Bayesian formulation of the problem that maximizes the posterior probability of choosing the subset of proposals. This can be viewed as maximizing the sum of log likelihood and prior terms. The log likelihood is further split into two terms corresponding to the color term and the depth term. The log likelihood terms are calculated by comparing the render data and camera data. We interpret the prior term as a component that enforces physical plausibility of the proposals and helps reduce the intersection between the objects. In practice, we follow a two-stage approach where we first build a layout tree from its proposals and run MCSS to obtain optimal subset of layout proposals. We then build object tree separately using the object proposals. However, while searching the object tree using MCTS, we also use the optimal layout proposals in the evaluation function. For more complex scenes, it would be interesting to build common tree for layout and objects. However, our simple two-stage approach was sufficient for the scanned scenes. Here we visualize various paths visited by MCSS in the layout tree search. We retrieve all the layout details and are close to manual annotations. Here we visualize MCSS applied to the object tree. We retrieve objects in the scene that are missing in the manual annotations. Now we show some results of our method on scanned scenes. Our method also works outside of scanned scenes and is easily generalizable. Here we show results on author's apartment. Thank you for watching and please visit our project page for more details.